Hi, I'm Ryanel, and today I'll be presenting you Fase Logic Model of Building Management System of Temperature and Humidity. The main focus of this study is to assess room requirements and monitor perceived room environment of the room or laboratory that will notify the in-charge personnel about the status using Fase Logic and its statistical process control. Air conditioning systems are one of the important considerations of almost every establishment as it greatly contributes in the total energy consumption. Based on some studies, majority of energy used in buildings is associated to HVAC systems which contributes to 50% of the total energy consumption. Generally, the primary purpose of HVAC systems is to provide comfortable indoor environment for human beings. On a technical point of view, it is projected that the concern of particular system like building energy management systems can conserve up to 20% of the energy consumption of the institution sector. Usually, air conditioning systems must maintain certain room temperature and humidity within the desirable range to provide a comfortable environment. At the outset of the decision of citizens, Honorable Mayor Antonio C. Halili initiated to establish a college for Tanawan. At present, there is only one computer laboratory room shared by all students of TCC. There is a need to notify the personnel about the problem in the air conditioning unit and in maintaining normal room temperature. However, there is no available system to monitor the room temperature. BMS is indeed essential for effective monitoring and maintenance of the entire building, especially for startup like TCC. However, BMS could be costly to implement for a government-funded institution. In this consideration, the proponent came up with an idea of designing, developing, and implementing an SPC-based building management decision support system of temperature and humidity using FASI logic which will assess classroom requirements like number of students and room size and perceive environmental factors like temperature and humidity. This system will monitor the status of room temperature and it will be displayed in a computer monitor or LCD. Once the system detects that the temperature exceeds the tolerable value, the system will trigger and will send a notification to in-charge personnel. The assessment will be done automatically using FASI logic which will serve as decision-making tool. The FASI system will be coded using Excel BBA macro program and Visual Basic .NET programming language will facilitate the GUI of the system. The temperature and the relative humidity information response through sensors and the receiver will store the data into the database. The FASI logic control mechanism would acquire the data in the database and compare the temperature and relative humidity parameters with predefined standards, calculate the degrees of membership, and obtain the CRIS output using the FASIFICATION method. There were 25 rules generated for 5 conditions with respect to identified parameters. The ranges and specifications of the elements are acquired from ASHRAE standard 55-2010 which recommends a desirable level of intercomfortable environment. The proponent will validate and verify the results using MATLAB Basel Logic Toolbox, and this will be simulated mathematically and will be realized in an actual prototype setup. More than monitoring system, it is an intelligent system that is capable of providing decision-making based on captured data for different internal and external parameters. It will provide suggestion and recommendation to mitigate the problems encountered. The system differs from other available systems since most of the available studies with decision support systems do not include a statistical process control and fase logic. The system has the capability of reading text such as comma-separated values which contains data needed for analysis relative to control charts. This model will be realized in a real working system. The tool will be assessed and evaluated as well in terms of its functionality, accuracy, reliability, and effectiveness in satisfying the set objectives of the study. Once the testing and evaluation piece was accomplished, then it will be implemented. Thank you very much.